Okay, and we are over the field. Finally, kind of snuck up on me there, but yeah, here's home base. I've already called in and requested and been granted landing clearance, so I just need to set up on this approach and landing. Now, I have some quick reference cards, which are about really the only documentation that I've been able to find. There is no official manual for Aleutian 2 yet. I would assume that's coming at some point, but I'll have a link to these little reference cards in the video description. If I forget it, just remind me in the comments. I'm sure somebody will. But, okay, for landing, I would want to close the oil and water radiators, but I don't have that capability right now until I get into the export settings, so I'll take that as good. Uh, RPM control, 2600 RPM. Again, I really don't have control over that, except with a throttle, I don't have the separate uh, prop pitch control, or I should say RPM control, uh, available just yet since I'm under the normal settings. No big deal. Okay, gear down at 350, flaps down at 250. So I just need to bring the speed under control here, and I'll just set up on the... Now I'm on the downwind, and I'll just fly it straight on in. So, okay, gear at 350, flaps at 250, downwind 220, approach at 200. So, okay, let me just go ahead and... Okay, 400. So I'll just go ahead and continue to bleed off speed here, and I'll go gear down here momentarily. And see if I can do this without crashing. Now... One other thing about the Lag 3, I think I mentioned before, is that the tail wheel is not capable of locking, and that's as uh, as intended, as designed on this aircraft for some reason. So, <laughs> I, I can tell you from experience, I have landed this aircraft once. Ground loop is a distinct possibility. Okay, and gear coming down. And I'll get the flaps once I pass under 250. So, hopefully I don't... Uh, Hopefully I don't blow up or anything, although I'm not that worried about that sort of thing just yet until I get into the campaign. That's when I really, really hate to uh, to uh, not survive a mission. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, to manage my trim a little bit better here. And looking about 2... nope, still above 250. So I'll give it just a second before I get the flaps down. Okay, let me bring it a little bit left and keep lined up. Yeah, it looks fine. We go flaps down. Okay, requesting landing clearance again. Okay, affirmative. Got it. Okay, so approach was 200, which I'm on right now. Okay, touchdown speed 170. Okay, coming in a little bit steep. Let me, well, very, very steep. Let me cut into this. Okay, still a little fast. Let me hold it off just a little bit and go for 170. Got a lot of back pressure on the stick right now. Made it kind of hard to control. So I need to manage the trim a lot better. Okay, so I'm down. Let me just see if I can maintain track. Throw in a little bit of braking. Which is a pneumatic system, just like the MiG-21 and uh, just Soviet aircraft in general. Okay, there we go, like I was saying. I'll take that. I don't think I'm going to flip and crash and blow up or anything, but... There we go. Landing in style. <laughs> or landing and walking away from it. Boy, I've got a... I don't know how I would keep from doing that. Uh... I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get reminded in the uh, the comments on how not to ground loop the uh, the lag three. Yeah, definitely tell me some techniques on that because I sure need it. That's two in a row that I've had that exact same result. Not that I'm complaining. I think it'll be a lot easier in the other aircraft when I can lock the tail wheel up now and just keep the tail wheel aligned to help me out on the alignment. So I'm going to call this one good here. I'm not going to taxi back or anything. So let me go ahead and just hit escape and. See you at the debrief. Okay, so we get mission complete. We get a whole lot more experience points. I think it's all well, because I got the I did the takeoff and landing and got the kill. New level of pilot. I'm now a level two pilot, whatever that means. Okay, so let me see. 30 points for takeoff, 60 for mission accomplished, 30 for landing, and let me see, one medium plane. Okay, that's a kill on that uh Medium plane, got it. In service, 100%, 138 total experience points. Okay, got it, cool. So, let's see, I am presented with the option to fly on the German side. I'm assuming this is just part of the campaign. If so, wow, that's cool. Uh, I wouldn't mind flying uh, like a BF-109 or something, just for the heck of it until I can get to the Aleutian. Now that, I've, now that I know that this is just a introductory campaign. Yeah, BF-109, uh, F-4. So, 
yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, okay, short mission, normal difficulty, escort mission. So I think what's happening here is I do a little bit of Soviet tutorial stuff, and then I do a little bit of German tutorial stuff. So, yeah, so much for all that research I did on, on the Soviet side of the war. So, okay, it's going to be an escort mission. Sure, let's take it. And, okay, so what all do we have going on here? So flying uh, from this airbase across the Volga, across Stalingrad, and we're bombing... Uh, Stradenia, yeah, that's right, Stradenia, Akuba, I can't really read, okay, now I can read it, uh, Stradenia, Akuba, that didn't really help, but, okay, escorting bombers to a parade on that airfield, so, let's do, do the plane setup real quick and see what all we have here, now, still got the default scheme, I get white, uh, Hungarian, and then I have some, these are, okay, these are, uh, German pilots, and uh, uh, skins and paint skins that are uh, particular to them. We've got finish. Okay, very, very cool. Okay, unlocks. What all do I get in this? So we get the uh, 15 millimeter MG-151s at some point. And those are the underwing pods. Okay, SC-50 bombs, SC-250 bombs, armored windscreen, removal of the headrest, and then the MG-151s eventually. Okay, so it's just following kind of a progression of uh, field modifications and, well, actual modifications to the aircraft when it comes to the gun systems, and field modifications for the removal of the headset and also the armored windscreen. Or I say, I, I say field modifications in the loosest general term there. But, okay, we'll go ahead and take this, accept, and yeah, let's go ahead and see what the briefing has in store for us. Okay, so training mission number four, escort. In an escort mission, you are to escort friendly bombers while they perform a bombing run at the action point. You need to stay with them until the exit point to make sure they reach it safely. So we're going to be taking off from uh, Grumrak, Gumrak airfield, flying out over Stalingrad, across the Volga, to this waypoint over uh, one of these towns. It'll be about uh, 26 kilometers total, so about, uh, what, 10 kilometers past the Volga to the waypoint, turn left to 070 for 17, to the action point, and this will be easy to find because it's right on the other side of the Antuba, or uh, Atuba River, and, okay, and that's just going to be, is that the town or is that the airfield that we're bombing here? I think, uh, I think it's actually the town, or no, it's, it's got to be the airfield, I think. Now, then to the exit point, which is this little island in the middle of the Volga, just north of Stalingrad, and then back to base. So, okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take it. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, and surprise, surprise, it's an air start, so that's just as well. Okay, so, yeah, again, I only have throttle controls. I think I'm still, I definitely still just under the normal like, difficulty setting. And as I would expect, I don't have, no, I would have expected pitch trim to be available in the uh, the 109, just not roll and aileron trim. But hey, that's fine. Okay, now where are these bombers I'm supposed to be escorting? That would be nice to know. Right behind me. So let me go ahead and uh, take it up into the air. Okay, autopilot off. And I'll get some altitude on these guys and just kind of make S turns uh, as I'm on the escort here. It doesn't look like I have any kind of a wingman, and I wonder if I'm going to run into any fighter opposition on this mission. And okay, let me go ahead and do the record thing again, just in case I want to cut in some external views. Okay, now let me go ahead and look around and see what we have here. Now, we are at the waypoint, which was going to be... Okay, uh, apparently space is what fires the gun. Okay, so we've already crossed the, uh, the Volga. And we're actually approaching the, the target as we speak, so that's another about a uh, minute and a half in front of me, 070 on the course, which I don't really have to worry about that much because I just need to follow these bombers around that I'm escorting, although, yeah, although uh, maintaining navigation and awareness of where I'm at is extremely important as well. And my first engine just went into combat mode. Well, I assume that's sort of like a, uh, like the MW50 uh, water methanol system. It was nothing that I did. It just kind of did it automatically. Okay, now uh, there's the town. There's the airfield. It was the briefed primary target. Okay, here we go. They're about to drop. I'm still not worried about what they're doing. I'll show that in the external view or, or something. 
I'm just looking around for whatever I'm supposed to be escorting them from, or protecting them from on the escort. And yeah, I can't resist. I've got to watch something blow up. Let me see what they actually hit here. Okay, they're going in low. Okay, I've got another 20 seconds or so, so let me keep looking around. Okay, here we go. It is the town they're going after. Okay, bombs away. Should be getting an impact right there on the edge of town, I would imagine. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, there was something there apparently worth hitting. I would have expected a nice run on that airfield. Let me see if I can spot anything. Got an aircraft on the ramp down there. No, I don't see an aircraft. I think that's just a truck. I don't see them taking the AAA fire off the airfield, so this might not even be in use in this phase of the war or at this particular time, or for this mission, I should say. Okay, so let's get our head back around and start looking for something to escort to protect them from. And yeah, uh, what am I at right now? I'm about uh, almost uh, almost 3,000 meters up, right at 3,000 meters, which is about, uh, was that, nine, well, 9,200 feet? Is that right? No, a little bit higher than that, I think. About 9,600 feet or so. Okay, these guys should be approaching the exit point any time now, so that's going to end the mission. I'm not going to fly this one back and land it or anything either. I just want to get on to the Illusion 2 at some point. Okay, yeah, and the exit point is... Yep, the... Well, actually, no, it's a little bit further up. It's the uh, little island out there, uh, right there that we see right now in the... Uh, in the Volga. You know, actually right there is the exit point. Okay, so uh, good enough. Okay, an airfield right down there. Is there anything I can scrape? I want to scrape something. Yeah, let me scrape something. Looks kind of like AAA to me. Okay, rolling out on the field. It, yeah, I know it's an escort mission. I would not do this under normal circumstances, but it's all about learning this aircraft. Okay, that is way, way too fast on the dive. Let me pull out of this and come back around. I'll just call this like an initial reconnaissance. That's what I was looking at. I was about to strafe a tree. So let me go ahead and strafe the tower right there on the field. Okay, let me check my guns. Okay, yeah, that's everything firing right there, both the uh, nose guns. And does the F model have uh, wing mounted? I think they're all in the nose on the, the F. Okay, throttle in. Can we bring it on around and get lined up on these guys? Okay, good enough. That, uh, that satisfies me for now. Okay, I've reached the exit point, and I can finish the mission here. Hit escape, and click on finish mission. So that sounds like a fine idea, as I continue to see those aircraft out in front of me. And, yeah, visibility of picking up aircraft at long range. I've, yeah, I think this is going to be uh, no sweat at all, actually, with, uh, even without labels. So, okay, that's, a uh, that's a breath of, uh, Fresh air, that's a relief. Okay, I'll see you at the briefing, or the debriefing. Okay, mission complete again, and a few more experience points just for, I think just for surviving and finishing the mission. Okay, no victories, 100% in service, 60 XP. So let's go ahead and finish. Tutorial completed. Now you've finished familiarizing yourself with the campaign mode by completing four tutorial missions. You now have to complete six regular missions in this chapter to move on to the next one. So it sounds like now this is going to be covering a little bit more realistically in the campaign mode the initial phases of the battle. And folks, since that ends the tutorial phase of the campaign, that's all that I really wanted to cover in this initial Let's Try series, I'm going to end the series with this video and come back with a full test flight series in the Illusion 2 where we finally settle the question of are the aircraft in this flight sim arcade aircraft or are they full hardcore representations of the aircraft? I think the answer is going to be somewhere in between. Maybe erring a little bit on the side of the hardcore just based on some other flying that I've done in the sim. 
apart from what you've seen here, but I'm going to reserve judgment until we really get into it, and I'm also going to further explore the campaign and the missions to see what the structure is, how you actually fly and execute them in this sim, and see if the way that everything is presented is something that I would be interested in coming back and doing more of. So at the very least, uh, two more video series covering this, and then who knows, if I really, really like it, there's always a multiplayer aspect of it that I've never really been into, but uh, who knows, I might just try just to try something new. So, you know, for my part, I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, it, I think, suffers from giving a bad first impression. I'll, I'll kind of show you what I mean real quick. If I go to the quick mission and I come down here to the realism settings, and what you saw here, and I didn't really realize it until later on, is that I was flying under the normal difficulty settings pretty much the entire time, and I didn't really comprehend, I guess, the difference between the normal and the expert settings fully. So what I'm going to do from here on out is fly with the expert settings, and just do what I normally do in a sim and see how I really like it from there. And don't get me wrong, I really did enjoy the first part of this campaign, you know, with all the uh, extra stuff on the screen, kind of the arcade aspect of it that was brought out as part of the tutorial, but what I'm finding is that that's not really going to be representative of other stuff that you can do with it, and that's what I'm going to explore. So I'm holding judgment on it until then. I know a lot of folks have already flown it, and I've seen a lot of the comments already, and it's kind of a mixed bag, and I just want to explore it for myself, and I try at least not to make a recommendation one way or another. I just want to present the gameplay, show what I do, and then based on what you see me do, you know, you can make an informed decision yourself, really, on whether it's worth the, gee, 60 bucks or whatever this thing costs to you. Uh, to me, I've had fun with it. I mean, I wouldn't continue from this point if I wasn't enjoying it, but... Yeah, we're going to see a lot more about what this aircraft and what this simulation in general has to offer. Where it's going to take us, I have no idea, but that's the plan at least. So I'll wrap this uh, little short three video series up right here, and I'll come back with a lot more in the Illusion 2. So be sure to check those out if you're still interested in the sim. And hey, thanks again for watching everybody. It's much appreciated, and I will see you next time.